back at the uh, Jordantown Cemetery. Me and uh, our helper. She's got our, uh, our shirt on. <laughs> and kind of got off to a slow start. We're trying to beat a hurricane that's that's coming, or a tropical storm. And wanted to get in and do a, a little, just a little search uh, with an hour, ton of time. And we uh, kind of were getting skunked for a while. And uh, then we got this one kind of dropped lower in the plot which I kind of assumed is an older section and appears to be. Um, and we got this, and I mentioned last time these older ones, which are, you know, exciting, but also disappointing because you never get information off them. They they have the glass and there's, there's paper that's behind the glass. And once these things sink, or even if they don't sink, the paper just kind of decomposes and disappears over time. And this one, which was sunk, appears to have legible writing um, and a piece of it. The glass was still half in there and the right half is there. And I see what looks like a, I'm gonna guess a Jesse, but I'm not sure. I see it, it looks like an SSE, Edwards, a month I can't identify, 21, and it appears to be 1941. And then there's the establishment. It looks like it's something undertaking establishment Roanoke, Virginia, R.V. Clark. So, it also has, in the middle, it looks like it says Morris in print. I don't know what that is. I don't know if that's the maker of this or if that's actually the last name and the rest was typed. I'm not really sure. So, I mean, that's, that's hopefully enough information that we can look at who we suspect is already associated with this plot and see if we can find someone with that death date. Otherwise, we'll just find someone who died in Roanoke with that death date and see if we get lucky. But that this is a, a exciting find because, I mean, we're pushing it almost into the 30s. That's nearly 100 years. Um, that's nearly 100 years, and the possibility of finding, you know, inscribed funeral markers from that period is something that, you know, I kind of typically would write off, but... I wanted to make a video. I'm going to take a few pictures because I'm concerned it's already deteriorating. Um, I'm not sure if that's humidity that's getting behind the glass quickly. Um, you know, there's not there's not a whole lot to be done to preserve this, obviously. But what's valuable is the information. So I, you know, wanted to show that and just show like what can be found from a you know apparently sunken depression, um, which may in fact yield complete identification not just for who's buried in this particular spot but potentially who's in this entire section since we suspect entire areas of this are you know genealogically linear um, with with a, a number of allied families related to the inheritance of this land I, I kind of suspect that there is some order to things in here um, and this might help yield some information so very exciting stay tuned for more